Welcome back to Snowrunner, guys, and today we are back out here on Lime's Playground, and we are going to be finding out which one of these vehicles can jump the farthest on the giant ski jump out here on this map. Now, the three vehicles we have brought out here today are the Cat 745C, the Cat 770G, and a long-requested monster, the LARC Bertha, which barely fits in the frame when you're in the garage. So let's go ahead and go through some of the options on these vehicles as two out of three are vanilla vehicles and then of course the Bertha is a mod. But let's go ahead and leave the garage and real quick we can actually use the dev tool menu to go through the customization and then head out to the jump. So let's see. Now, it's going to be the default transmission because at the end of the day, the transmission isn't really going to matter because we're going to throw them in neutral and let gravity do the work on the way down the hill. And then the engine really doesn't matter all that much as well, but I'm going to do the most powerful engine just to have it. So from there, we're going to do, let's see. I'm thinking that the best thing to actually have on the back might be, just might be the fuel tank. I don't know. I'm going back and forth on the fuel tank, but like, I feel like the fuel tank might be a good, like, a good bet for this thing. So, fuel tank on this guy, and we're gonna move him just slightly out of the way, and then, well, actually, let's go ahead and drive him out to the jump. Now, the next one, obviously, that we're going to work on is the other cat before we work on the Bertha. But this one is going to get taken out to the jump first. Now, I feel like leading these vehicles out to the jump is kind of like leading them to their doom. But at the end of the day, it's all, for, it's all for science. It's all for research. It's all for figuring out which one will fly the farthest. And this is, this is important work. This is important research, I guess. So there you can see the jump just ahead. I just gotta let everybody know that we're on our way. We're almost there. Now, this fuel tank, I'm not sure how much weight or how much mass it actually adds, but it should add some. I mean, if it didn't add any mass, that wouldn't make any sense at all. Now, the only thing I'm concerned about is, like, is the back bumper too low that it'll catch on the ramp? I don't know. I hope not. I also hope that front overhang isn't so long that it catches on the bottom of the ramp as well. I'm hoping the suspension is stiff enough to where that's not really an issue. But let's go ahead and get ready to drive it up to the top of the ramp, and then we will go from there. From there, like I said, we'll go back and customize the next vehicle and bring it out. And then once we've got all three out here, then it's going to be time for the full set. I love how we drove through a repair point, and then as of driving through a repair point, we got some extra damage. Can you go any faster than first gear up this? This apparently cannot. Oh, that's just dandy. Oh, God, it's rolling. It's rolling. Hold on. Off-road gearbox, please. Lockers? Nah, it, it, it's... Oh, no, it was able to overcome it. You know, I bet you the only reason it was able to overcome that was because of the fact that there's a little, like, lip right there. I feel like that lip is most likely the biggest issue we're gonna have with, like... Or, actually, sorry. The gradient is the, is the biggest issue we're gonna have, but that lip kind of saved us pretty much. We're almost up to the top. Just about there. Just about there. You often forget, or at least I do, how slow these default vehicles feel when you drive them on a mod map like this that's designed for, you know, super over-the-top, super OP modded high horsepower vehicles. So finally, we're at the top, and we can go ahead and get this thing into position. So once it's in position, we can go back and get the next vehicle in the lineup. So we're going to go ahead and handle... We'll, we'll handle moving these vehicles around later. I just wanted to make sure that the parking brake was on with that one. Now we've got the 770G, and this build is going to be pretty quick. I mean, we're going to throw the saddle on the back, Special Engine 2, and we'll throw the off-road gearbox in it so that, so that it can actually drive up the ramp. Now let's go to the trailer store and see if... Well, I don't think it'll actually have access to the trailer until we... Let's see. Where's my trailer? No? Yes. Okay. Now, here's going to be the big question. Will it be able to make it up that ramp with this trailer behind it? I sure as heck hope so. I mean, it is locked in the back, so it's not like it's going to be losing traction on us, but it's still going to be pretty freaking sketchy because it's full of rocks. You know what's weird is that the horn in this is so much more car-like than the horn in the other cat, but this one is bigger. It, it, it's bigger, it's more imposing, it's it's heavier, it's it's carrying more load. I mean, th there's so much more about this thing that is more heavy-duty than the other one, and yet it gets this as a horn. 
Now, granted, I've never heard the actual horn of this rig in real life, so maybe it's accurate, maybe it's not, but I highly freaking doubt it is. If this is accurate to what that horn is like in real life, I, yeah, I would be very, very, very <laughs> um, amazed, let's say. Amazed would be a really good term to use for that. All right, we're going to have to run into that ramp like full speed, otherwise it's not going to even make any remote headway up the ramp. There's my low ranges. Are you gonna move? Are you gonna move? Almost. We've got some movement, but not much. Oh my God. Okay. So this is gonna need a little bit of assistance, but luckily I have just the thing. Oh yes. I have just the thing we need. And just a quick setup from this. Oh, we'll be good to go. Bulletproof engine, tow suspension, slightly bigger tires, and let's see, really the only other thing that we need is, I mean, we need a weighted grill, and that's it. All right, yep, you're going up that ramp, whether you like it or not. Whether you freaking like it or not, you are going up that ramp. Yep, you're coming with me, come on. Oh yeah. Here we go. The oh, dude, the overpowered engine in this 2017 L400 is such a monster. Will it go for high? It seems like it'll hold it. Don't you, don't you dare. Don't fall off the edge. If I fall off the edge, I will be in so much trouble. I just want to get this thing up to the top of the ramp. This so far has been the most challenging truck to get to the top of this ramp that I've ever had to mess with. Like, and you guys know, I've messed with this ramp on live streams before, and I've never had this much trouble getting something up here. But I guess this is the first time for everything, right? All right, pull it up and over at the top. Not bad. I just want it to where it's, I, I want it to the point to where it's not gonna have any issue moving under its own power. Now, I'm, uh, bruh, that's not what I wanted. All right, 770G, stop engine, handbrake is on. Thank you for that. Okay, now it's time for the LARC Bertha to make its way up that ramp. And I feel like this one's probably going to be the weirdest one to get up there. Now, the steering is awkward. The driving is awkward. It's, it's kind of funny because I don't really like driving this thing sometimes because it really is just so awkwardly huge. And it's also so awkwardly sized that sometimes I genuinely have trouble fitting it on the roads in the game. So, and if you've ever tried to drive this in the campaign mode, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Will it fit under the building? I mean, sure, maybe. Yeah, it phases through it. Don't worry about it. It's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. All right, back into automatic mode. Oh, no. Are you going to phase through the side or are you going to hit it? Oh, it grabbed my crane and literally twisted my crane backwards, but, yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I can see, well, I can see one of the cats up there, and then I'm sure the other one is just chilling out up there nice and ready to go. So this one isn't going to actually get launched. Uh, 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 I don't know if I want to launch this thing first. You know what? Changed my mind. Saving this for last. I know that that was like an instant reversal, but it, it, it's fine. Don't worry about it. I want this thing to be the finisher. I absolutely 100% want this thing to be the finisher. All right, you're going up the ramp now. I said you're going up the ramp now. I, oh my God. I said go forward. Do not flip over on me. Like, bro, I swear if you flip over on me, I will be so sad. I wouldn't even be mad. I'll just be sad because this is the first time I've ever had the opportunity to actually like send this thing off of the, the ski ramp. And it tries to do a backflip on the way up. It just doesn't want to do it. It's like, nope, you're not going to make me do that. And I'm like, oh, yes, I am. And it's like, oh, heck no, you're not. All right, we're almost there. Just got to get this thing parked off to the side where it's not necessarily going to block the other two. Because it is tremendously large, even compared to the two caterpillars. All right, let's stop you right there. Now, time for the 745C to make its first run down the ski ramp in three, two, one, go. And neutral, let's pick up that speed. Come on. 
Oh, geez, I didn't mean to aim this way, but it's gonna make it off the end. Actually, it didn't bottom out at all. I'm really surprised. Boom! And you know what? It starts up. It's The engine is in the red, but for a vanilla vehicle to start up after that? Pretty dang impressive. All right, 770G's turn now. Will the trailer stay attached? That's my big question. Uh, uh, we got some physics problems. I don't know what the heck it's doing. Okay, I think we're all right now. That was really weird, and I'm, I have no idea what, like, what that was all about, but I, you know what? I'm not going to question it. I'm just not. I, at the end of the day, I, that is not something I'm questioning. No, sir. Mm-mm. All right, you're gonna make your way off the edge. Mm-hmm. And then you're gonna go into neutral. And then you're gonna let gravity just take you. Getting it! Trailer's still attached. Oh! Trailer's still attached. Dude, another drive away with nothing in the red. Like, literally nothing at all in the red. How did it survive that? Honestly, I have no clue. But now it's time for the ultimate. The LARC Bertha. And apparently the Bertha's tires are, um, not happy? I have never had this issue with this platform before, but today, it, uh, it seems to be extremely unhappy with everything that I bring up here. It's like, yeah, you're gonna have a bad time. And I'm like, do I have to? And it's like, oh, yes. Oh, my jeez. Repair and refuel, please. Thank you. All right, let's make our way down. I'm gonna go with the middle ramp with this one too so I don't jam the front end into the ground. And let's go. Let gravity just take it. It doesn't feel as fast because it's huge, but oh, what? Okay. Well, that was probably the most anticlimactic jump I've ever done in my entire life of playing this map. Now, I think in order to make up for that, we're going to have to send the 2017 L400. We're just going to have to. The 2017 L400 has to make a run at this. Yep, and it's going to go into high mode, too. Come on. What is wrong with you? You're freaking... Okay, there we go. I was like, your freaking suspension is in the ground. All right, let's go. That's probably going to be one of the worst runs I've ever done in the 17L400 because it's got the worst setup on it for jumping. It's got, like, literally a toe setup and a weighted bumper, and that did not play out very well at all, did it? Yeah, um, so the ski ramp resulted in, let's just say, lots of vehicles being sketchy to drive afterwards. Although, what's really funny about this is the two vanilla vehicles made it out of this better than the two modded vehicles did. I'm sure that's pure coincidence, but I find it really hilarious. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys next time.